Well, I was, I'd been married seven months when uh, I got my draft notice. <laughs> of course, went right on and uh, took my basic training in Biloxi, Mississippi. And uh, I was down there five weeks, which was kind of short for basic training, but they needed some gun fodder somewhere. And <laughs> so they shipped us out and of course I didn't have no idea where we were going. We got off in Denver, Colorado, off of the train in about a foot of snow. <laughs> All of us like, like a froze to death before we got into the barracks. But uh, we started the tech school right away. And uh, we went through two, both Lowry Field and Buckley Field there in, in Denver. And then they shipped, they shipped me to Laredo, Texas for gunnery school. And from gunnery school, they shipped me back to Clovis, New Mexico, and put me on a bomber crew. And we started flying our first phase of training. And uh, we stayed there for about four months. And uh, the rumor got going around that they were going to sack the base and ship us out somewhere else and Major came out and told us he didn't want that rumor going around anymore. He, he was going to get in trouble if we kept spreading it. And then two weeks later, away, on the bulletin board that they was, <laughs> they was going to send all crew members to Pueblo, Colorado for two weeks while they sacked the base. <laughs> And then they sent us back to Clovis and then to Langley Field, Virginia for our last phase of training. From Langley Field, Virginia, we went to New York City and was there about five days and picked up our airplane, flew to Trinidad, from Trinidad to Bellium, Brazil, from Belgium, Brazil to Dakar, Africa, from Africa to Algiers, and then from Algiers to Italy, Foggia, Italy. And that's where we, f we flew our missions from. And uh, I'll never forget my first mission. Of course, they had told us that uh, we only had had to fly 50 missions to get to go home. And so our first mission, they sent us to northern Italy. And all they had up there in their anti-aircraft guns were 40 millimeter cannon. We were flying high enough that the 40 millimeter wouldn't reach us. It was exploding all down under us. And we thought when we got back to base that day, boy, if I, if it's all this easy, we can fly 50 missions in 50 days and go home. <laughs> but uh, then uh, on our second mission, we was to headed for Graz, Austria to bomb a ball bearing factory. And we got 10 minutes off of the target and about 80 109s hit us and uh, shot us all to pieces. We managed to fly back to the Adriatic Sea and, and uh, well, I'll back up a minute. Uh, I think the last shell, or, or close to the last one, set my oxygen supply on fire. I was a ball turret gunner and I had a, just a rubber hose that fed my oxygen. And they shot this, this oxygen holes in two and set my oxygen supply on fire and and uh, we had some uh, jackets hang, uh, with stuff behind the curtain that goes across the fuselage and, and it all caught fire 
And the last shell that hit, I think it was the last shell that hit our ship, hit the struts on my ball turret when I was standing right about this far away. <laughs>